Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Hey guys, what is up? It's Haley. Welcome back to my channel. So basically for today, this is what the plan is. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should. Basically, I announced to you guys that I'm going on vacation. I'm heading to Miami next week with my husband to see my in-laws. My dilemma is, is I have no summer clothes at all for Florida. And I know that it's really hot there right now. So what I actually thought would be a really fun little experiment is for us to go thrifting as I do at least once a week. But today we're gonna go thrifting in winter in search of summer clothes. Most likely people won't be looking for summer stuff. So hopefully those sections won't be picked over and we're gonna find some really epic items. So I think this will be pretty interesting and I'll check in with you at the thrift store. Have made our way into Valley Village. We're looking for some nice summer essentials and I have my mind on some things I'm hoping to find. I'm definitely looking for some cute summer dresses, you know, stuff that you may have seen on like Reformation but cost only like 10% of the price. Otherwise, I also really want some really cute skirts and I feel like shorts may kind of be hard to find at the thrift store, especially in the winter because like I said, it's cold. Who knows, maybe in this big section of men's denim, I could just find some nice vintage jeans that maybe I could just cut and then throw in the laundry, turn into some nice distressed shorts. I really want to go for like that vintage denim feel. There's these ones. I'm not so crazy about this shade, so I'm gonna pass those up. Ooh, oh my gosh, guys, the 550 Levi's. These are actually such a nice vintage fit, and they're a size 30. These actually do look really wide across the thighs, so as denim, it may not necessarily fit me so well, but because I'm planning on making shorts, cropping these may actually look really good and loose fitting, you feel me? I just don't understand people who do this. Like. Be nice, guys. If you come to thrift stores, clean up after yourselves. Like, I really just want to put all this away because I feel so bad. Just found another 550 pair of Levi's, and these are actually a nice true blue. So if this fits nice on the bum, they can also make a good potential for shorts. In the skirt section, and guys, it says huge selection. Things are looking up. I've noticed that midi skirts have been coming back right now. You know, the skirts that come like up to here. So I'm gonna see if I could find myself some nice cool ones because I feel like if there's anywhere to sport a skirt like that, it's in Florida. I found this cool looking crochet one. It could be nice to wear maybe on top of a bikini if I'm heading to the beach. So we're gonna try that. I love this color and just the material is like so nice and flowy. Nice for Florida. So I do wish I had more luck with the skirts. I just feel like a lot of them aren't really that style that I'm going for. But the last one I found is this. I don't know why, it's just very like Gossip Girl, early 2000s for me, school girl vibes. I love that it has this like cool tool under. And as long as it's not too short, I think it could be cute. I definitely want some kind of like straw bag for me to take to the beach. There's a lot of fake stuff like fake Chanel. Um, wanna be Louis. I could rummage through all this, but I feel like if I find something I like, it should just call out my name and it should just pop out to me. You feel me? I'm gonna be totally honest. I totally love the style of this bag. Like I love that it's round. I think it would be so nice for Florida. The monogram is like, it's not even accurately fake. Like this part is not you know, the same. If it didn't look so fake, I would actually get that because I like the whole style of the round bag. I've actually been seeing this everywhere, but I don't think I'm cool enough to pull that off. In the dresses section now, specifically summer dresses, the, what I'm envisioning is like reformation, like these type of dresses, basically. Yeah, we don't have that. Oh. You have to talk with the So don't worry guys, all is good now. After I did my thrifting for the day, I went and spoke to the manager and I kind of explained what it is that I do, that I'm not harming nobody, I'm not filming nobody. And we came to an agreement, everything's fine. I can film in thrift stores now and it's all good. Okay, 
Basically, we're back home right now, guys. It is the next day. You guys saw me vlog in the thrift store, but I actually went to another one right after. So there is a couple of pieces here that you haven't yet seen. That's including a bunch of accessories that I have right here on the table next to me. I'm so excited to show you these accessories. I feel like they're so perfect for anybody going on vacation. Let's go ahead and start off with some of the bottoms that I thrifted. So first off, you guys actually saw me try on um, the denim black pants from Levi's. I turned them into shorts. Yes, I cropped them. Um, they're not distressed yet because I do still have to throw them in the wash. I just literally cut them before this video. As soon as I'm going to throw it in the wash, this part is definitely going to fray up and it's going to look a bit more vintage, a little bit more worn in. The vintage feel is definitely going to match well with the gray tone of these shorts and I really love that the patch is actually perfectly intact, which always nice. Okay, these next bottoms you didn't see in the vlog, but guys, you're not ready for this. Like, look at jeans these are probably the cutest jeans I've ever thrifted you got little Tweety Bird right there you got the cat peeking through through the little pocket and look at the patch it says too cute because honestly guys these jeans are too cute they're not Levi's but they fit like a really really great high-waisted mom jean with a straight leg and especially if we go to Orlando like there's nothing better to represent you know okay we're on to tops now and honestly guys what I realized is the whole point of this experiment was for me to see how much summer clothes I can actually find at the thrift store in the winter and my verdict was not that many so I only have two little tops to show you this is the first one you guys saw it's a little denim vest and I just love the fact that this denim is lighter so I can pair it with like a darker denim do a really cute denim on denim outfit follow me on Instagram if you guys want to follow up on how that's gonna look and then the second piece I found on my second trip to the thrift store was actually this really cute little crochet tank top. I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but I'm really into crochet right now. So when I saw this, I immediately thought it would be such a nice little piece, maybe to throw on at the beach, or even if I'm going to brunch and I have this thrown on over my bikini. And now onto skirts. I told you I'm loving crochet, so you guys saw when I found this little black crochet skirt, I thought it was so cute. Because again, whether I wear it to the beach or just out and about in Florida, I feel like it'll be a really cute little eccentric piece. And the fact that if it's high-waisted makes it really, really flattering. The one thing I feel like is kind of like a reformation style item and I really love this midi skirt it's a little bit more than a midi skirt because it is pretty long but I'm just obsessed with the greenery it fits so nicely because it's extremely high-waisted and then it really gently flares out into this beautiful skirt I could just wear it casual with some white sneakers or thrown on with some Doc Martens if I want a little bit more of that edge another skirt I saw that I was in love with was this plaid one that you guys saw I actually cannot tell what brand it is from but like I told you guys it gives me really 2000s vibes and just on vacation if I'm feeling a little bit edgy with some docks, a nice black bodysuit. Oof, such a look. And then there's actually two little dresses that I thrifted at the second location as well. It's actually originally from Forever 21, but I still saw it and thought that it was really cute. It is this really light denim dress, but it has a really cute little overall detail here on the straps. I already see myself wearing this with like a white t-shirt underneath with some nice white sneakers and a really cute sun hat, which I actually ordered. It's on the way in the mail. I'm so excited to receive it. And then the last little thing that I thrifted is actually a little black dress because don't we all need a little black dress on vacation? I guess what I fell in love with the most is the fact that it has the thick black straps and the neckline is actually straight across, which I think is extra flattering to wear with some nice accessories and jewelry. And speaking of jewelry, now we're gonna segue into all the accessories that I picked up for vacation and there's quite a lot. So I'm actually gonna start it off with this little bag that I found. Is it just me or was this like all the rage in the summer? So, so, so cute. A nice little accessory if I'm like heading to the beach and I wanna take a bag with me. And in the summer, I saw a bunch of girls wearing bags like this with like lemons inside. Why do they have lemons? I, I don't know. It's probably for the aesthetic, but I love it. And another little accessory I'm taking on vacation was a very interesting and intriguing find. It is a Gucci belt bag. But guys, like I was in dilemma with this for such a long time and it's like embossed with the Gucci right here. And even the monogram when I was looking online looked identical. I feel like it's 90% fake, not because it looks fake, but because like why would someone donate a perfect Gucci bag? You know what I mean? But that being said, I don't really care. I'm not really a brand whore when it comes to like high-end luxury brands. Obviously, if anybody asks me about it, I'm not going to pass it off as if it's real. I'm going to tell them that I thrifted it. But guys, like I've just been on a hunt for like a nice belt bag and I would probably just wear it straight across like all the cool kids are doing these days, you know, try to be cool for once in my life. So next item I found are actually some sunglasses and I've actually told you guys many times I love thrifting for sunglasses because I like the sunglass styles that they used to have back then. They were more like smaller frames. I feel like they suit my face much better. So these ones are more of like a tortoise shell small frame glass. 
and I think they're just really nice sunnies for a vacation. Tortoise shell is definitely in, but in general, sunglasses that have like a collection, they're definitely a really easy accessory to completely transform any outfit. So I found this vintage leather belt, but when I saw it, I just really fell in love with the size of the buckle because I think it's really nice to wear on pants. It's like not too big, not too small, just right. And my dilemma with thrifting belts is that I always wear my pants very, very high-waisted, so it's so hard for me to find a belt that will actually fully buckle and has enough holes. And this belt buckled on the last hole is perfect. It perfectly cinches in my waist when I wear pants high-waisted like this, and I just think it's a nice little accessory. Last items I have to show you guys are jewelry, and I think I have about seven items to show you. And I feel like jewelry is my absolute new favorite thing to find at thrift stores because I just found amazing pieces. First of all, something you can definitely find at thrift stores, and I've just been seeing all over Instagram, was these little um, puka shell necklaces. I actually love taking these necklaces and then double cuffing it and then just going ahead and wearing it as an anklet. And then whether I'm actually on the beach or if I'm just like wearing some sneakers, but I'm still in vacation mode, you can just dress up your ankles like this and I think it looks so pretty. I mean, feet wanna look good too, guys, so such a cute little accent and these necklaces are so cheap. Definitely one of my favorite jewelry finds is actually what I'm wearing right now. Like, guys, I still have the tag on it. $7.99, a little bit pricier for a thrift store necklace, but guys, look at this beautiful gold chain. This quality feels amazing. It does not feel cheap at all. Maybe it's gold vermeil, like sterling silver dipped in gold. And then another necklace that I actually found a couple weeks ago. It is a beautiful, like, long gold necklace, but it's not only a necklace, it's a locket. Guys, like, it's a vintage, Lock it. And again, this gold is like so shiny, so vibrant. It doesn't feel like it's fake. You can layer this on top or like layer it with other gold necklaces. So gorgeous. And this last little necklace is again, beautiful, stunning. It is a really nice lustrous gold once again. It's pretty much an already three layered necklace with a bunch of really beautiful coins. And I feel like if you just wear it with any simple outfit, like bam, that's already so dressed up and so nice. Next up is this bracelet, which if you look really closely at it, you may think that it's Cartier. I highly doubt it because again, why would someone donate a Cartier bracelet? I just really wanted a gold bangle for the longest time and it's really hard for me to find a gold bangle that actually looks nice on my wrist because it's so small, but I actually can fit it on my arm if I like really squish hard. But yeah, here it is, so pretty, matches like perfectly with the necklace that I'm wearing now. And then just to complete my overall gold jewelry collection, I needed a pair of earrings and I found these gorgeous hoops like whoa these hoops are like ridiculously beautiful gold hoops like look at that again they're very heavy and heavy duty they were priced at eight dollars so i feel like they're most likely sterling silver or something that's good for sensitive ears because i have really sensitive ears and i just think they're a really good size for a nice standard hoop earring Okay guys, and that is everything that I got for my vacation at Valley Village. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little come thrifts with me and haul. Once I am actually through with some of these items on vacation, I actually may sell them to you guys and I may sell them through my website that I actually created through Squarespace. My website on Squarespace is actually coming along so beautifully and it was so easy to make because Squarespace offers so many beautiful, really customizable templates for you to use. So no matter what your business or your little side hustle, you can honestly just type it in and find a perfect template that will work for you. And once I'm ready to sell some of these items, I'm actually gonna go ahead and create like a little shopping tab where a lot of you guys can shop some of the items that I show you in my hauls. It has become so much simpler to sell products and services online because Squarespace allows you to easily manage all your orders, your products, and your inventory so you can stay organized and easily sell to your desired market. So with all that being said, head on over to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Haley's Corner to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. I'm so excited to head on to vacation. If you guys are heading anywhere for winter or for vacation, let me know down below. I'm so curious to know what spots you guys are heading off to. Let me know down below what kind of videos you want to see from me when I'm in Florida. And also to follow us on our entire journey, follow me on Instagram to see really cute outfit pictures, style a bunch of these different pieces thank you all so much again for watching be sure to subscribe down below and join our amazing family if you are new here and i will see you in my next one bye